What's up guys and welcome back to the Mr. Fix-It channel. So you want to put a clutch kit in your early Yamaha G29 golf cart. Well, strap your big boy pants on because this is going to be a job. Okay, so this is the kit I got for this cart. It's the G-Boost technology. That's the part number. And in this box comes with a few springs, some rollers and a belt, and a piece of paper, I'm assuming is the instructions. Okay, so let's get right into this. I'll get the seat out of the way, and we'll see what we got going on. Okay, let this battery out. Boy, they don't give you a whole lot of room down in here to do this. So there's no, no way to get this bolt out of this clutch because it runs into the frame rail right there. So anything that requires major disassembly to replace a wear item is a piece of sh I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to unbolt a bunch of stuff and figure something out in order to get that clutch away from that frame either up or down, probably down, so I can get tools in there and then have enough room to get this clutch out. So I think what I'm going to do, there's a bolt right here looks like this is the front pivot point for the rear suspension and there's this track bar here I think if I remove this bolt and that bolt hopefully I cause it looks like I'm going to have to slide slide everything back to get it off this mount and then I should be able to lower it I don't know I'm, but uh, let's, let's do something so I'm going to have to disconnect the brake cable here and it's got this little wire Tin metal clip that holds it on. I'm gonna try to take my adjustable wrench here and get that unclipped somehow. Maybe there literally is no room. All right. So what I decided to do is take this pin out. This goes with the brake cable right there. There's a cotter pin in the back of this and that was a real pain to get out of there. So I'm going to try to pop this pin out and get that brake loose. All right, you see the little tabs on here? Right there. There's three of them. You got to push all them in to get that out of there. All right, I got a jack up underneath this. I've got that bolt out there and I've got that uh, track bar link bolt out back there. I'm going to try to roll everything back so it sits on that jack. Okay, it's not wanting to go. Not sure what's holding it up. I may have to unbolt the shocks too. Wow, what a pain in the ass. If I unbolt the shocks, that means I'm going to have to support the cart up on jack stands and essentially lift the cart off of the motor. So things have escalated quickly here. Um, I'm going to have to jack this up and put some jack stands under it to get the shocks off so that this will move back far enough to drop down and the axle fell out. <laughs> it looks like the bearing is what holds it in and the bearing failed so it never ends. I got the uh, sub chassis frame deal here unbolted and lowered down and now I can get to that bolt. So all this just to remove that one bolt right there. All right, now I get to find out if my clutch puller tool that I have will work on this clutch. Yeah, that don't work. Well, I don't have a tool to take this apart. Awesome. Everybody's got to have their own special clutch puller. Well, since I'm waiting on that tool, I'm going to go ahead and work on this axle. Get this bearing off of here and try to get this thing replaced. Obviously, I've already removed the wheel. Okay. 
Maybe this will come right off. Maybe not. Maybe pressing that off of there. Probably gonna have to use the press. Get that bearing race off of there. Well, it does not want to come off of there. Come on. Man, there's a lot of pressure on that. Yeah. It's hot. Come on. Wow. That sucker is on there, buddy. Some of the stuff has come up like three eighths of an inch. I think it would just come off easy the rest of the way, but it's not. I'm kind of afraid to stand in front of it while I'm jacking that handle. Oh my God. Shit. I'm gonna take this thing out of here and cool the shaft down. You can see it's almost off of there, but it ain't wanting to come the rest of the way. All right, cool this off in the sink. I think I can get the rest of the way off with the hammer. Yep, there it is. Man, I tell you what, that thing was on there tight, super tight. All right, now I gotta get the rest of the bearing out of the axle tube. All right, there's a snap ring. There she came. Now, can I get that bearing race out? Yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, first attempt here. See what happens. Nope. It's in there tight. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Can't get a good swing on the hammer or anything. All it takes is a, a few good Curse words and a grinder. All right, it's so next day. I got the new bearing in. So here's your part number. Let's get this thing installed. Hopefully this ain't a pain. All right, I put the bearing in the oven and the shaft in the freezer. It should just slide together. Yep, it just slid together. But just in case I had the press ready. Okay, I got this hole cleaned out, all the rust and everything. 
Slip this right in here. All right, that one's smooth for once. There's snap ring back in. Get the wheel back on here. All right, that's done. I need to have this golf cart done by tomorrow, and the tool that I ordered won't be in until tomorrow. So to try to save some time, I, I bought this bolt. This is a 16 millimeter, 1.5 pitch thread, and I'm gonna to try to make a tool here I'm going to sacrifice one of my extensions because I'm probably going to need hardened steel here. So I'm going to cut this up, turn this in the lathe, and try to make a tool to take that clutch off. I'm going to start by facing off this bolt. Alright, I bored a hole in there so I can center the other piece, I'm going to turn it down to press into this. Alright, here's the tool. Let's go see if this thing will work. Probably gonna have to let the air compressor kick on. I thought it came out, but I guess I guess it didn't. Something popped. Yeah, it came off. Awesome. Oh, tell me it'll come out of here. There we go. Oh. And I think it was on there tight. All right, so before I go making another tool to get this apart, I'm gonna try this. Oh, yep. I just got a couple bolts in the vise here, holding in the back of the ear. So I'm just going to dump these rollers out. And I'm going to clean this surface up. Alright, I'm going to take an educated guess here. These little bushings here have the lip. And I'm going to put the lip side to the left. Alright, let's see here. the green spring. Put the green spring in there. That ought to make it fun to get this back on. Uh, I believe I'm going to have to put this in the press to hold that down to get the screws back in it. I made this little attachment here to take uh, coil springs off. Uh, 
come on. Man, that is a hefty snap ring. Going with the blue spring here. Oh, this is kind of scary. And there you go. So Hurricane Ian finally made it to Ohio. Let's give Hurricane Ian a nice greeting here. I got friends that live in Florida. All right, so now I just got to put everything <laughs> back together. Hopefully this goes okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the clutch on and get that started. So let's, let's do that. Let's see, I gotta go in this way, don't I? Get this pulley on there. Got a new bolt for it. The uh, bolt and the spacer and everything was all missing. So I got a new bolt, made a new spacer. Okay, now this should be the fun part. <laughs> I gotta get this chassis, subframe, engine, transaxle, this whole thing back up on the mount and bolts lined up and back into place. So let's let's do that. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get this, this bracket, bra mount bracket, whatever thing up and over that. So hopefully I can wiggle this around. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a ratchet strap. I'm gonna run a ratchet strap from the rear axle to the front somewhere and try to pull this up. close. Yep, there we go. Come on, go in your hole. Get on in there. All right, so the bolt hole on the bottom is not aligned. I'm gonna have to jack up the rear to uh, get that lined up, I think. Okay, can't forget to hook up the brake. I'll get this snap back in place here. All right, got that. And got a new cotter pin. All right, let's get the belts reinstalled here. Let's see, let's put this one on this way. Main belt on. I always like to put the belts on with the numbers out so you can read them. And then uh, when you take it off and put it back on, you know to put it back in the same way. All right, well that's all back together now. Okay, because I put that blue spring in, the instructions said that I'm gonna lose some top speed, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with the Govna. All right, I stuck on a, uh, a sensor sticker for this tachometer. I'm gonna get a reading of the RPM. So 3,500 RPM. So we'll see if we can bump that up to maybe a few hundred more RPM. All right, I'm gonna remove this air box. So what we gotta do to do that. Okay, there's no bolts in here. There's a couple bolts down there. Sure, there's got to be one back here somewhere. Yep. 
There's a bolt there. There should be a bolt here, but this one's missing. And there's two bolts up here. So we'll get this air box off of here real quick. All right, cut that out of the way. Should need some work done to it. Okay, we'll address that. All right, that's working better. Okay, so the governor is already adjusted as tight as it'll go, but I did notice that when I, flip, okay, so this is, we're looking at the inside of the carburetor here, and that's the throttle flap right there. As I open the throttle, you can see the butterfly come open. There's full throttle, but if I keep pushing the pedal, it actually starts to close the throttle back off. So I think I think I need to do a uh, I think I need to do a cable adjustment up here. Okay, I got this uh, access panel opened up here, and I'm just going to loosen some slack on this cable. All right, let's see if we increase the speed at all. Yep, sure did. Now it's 37.64. So just a small adjustment there to the throttle cable. We increased it a couple hundred RPMs. All right, let's check our work here. See if we reverse. I got my speed app here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's reset the max speed. Because I won't be able to hold this and drive at the same time. So I'll reset that. And uh, we'll go up the road and we'll see what the max speed is. Okay. We get 18 miles an hour going uphill. Let's see if we can get some more going downhill. All right. Ooh, backfire. So 18 mile an hour is the top speed. Not too bad. <laughs> well, guys, with a few choice words and a bunch of tools, you too could have a clutch kit and your old Yamaha G29 golf cart. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.